Porsche, a legend on the track, an icon on the street, and a name that has stirred the soul for nearly three quarters of a century. The Porsche brand is a, a combination of tradition and future. We are very proud of our heritage. Heritage that helps create one of the most iconic motorsport marks. But eventually, winning isn't enough. In 1993-94, they were in danger of going under. In its darkest hour, the brand does the unthinkable and introduces its very first SUV. When the Cayenne arrived, all the enthusiasts were up in arms. The machine puts the sport in sport utility and alters the industry forever. The Cayenne changed the world. Now, the mark is back with its latest game changer. A 550 horsepower, super-built SUV. No, as the Gen 3 Porsche Cayenne. Deep in Central Europe sits Bratislava, the capital of Slovakia. It's a city rich with history, full of art, and overflowing with culture. Yet today, the most powerful attribute might very well be its Volkswagen assembly plant. Because this is where the third generation of the Porsche Cayenne comes to life. We are in the latest assembly hall, which is very modern and state-of-the-art. Every day, three different shifts of 600 people put their hearts and souls into a very advanced kind of build. We produce 400 cores a day. 400 finished vehicles per day adds up fast, and its meaning can't be overstated. The Cayenne is responsible for over 30% of Porsche's global sales. Many industry observers believe it is the most profitable SUV on the market. It's a very special brand, then. I believe all the boys, when they were young, were playing with the Porsches. It makes us very proud. The factory isn't just a big part of the bottom line, but also a large facility in its own right. About 90,000 square meters, and we have 160 operations. The 160 stations are nearly as fast as a finished Cayenne. We are building in uh, approximately three minutes tax time or cycle time. While the stations are vastly different, the goal is always the same. It has to be perfect because it is all about detail. Everything has to be fixed perfectly. Everything correct to the millimeter and everything has to fit. If your engine is not working, then the customer is not satisfied. If your glass is leaking the water, the customer is not satisfied. So in the car must be done very exactly and with passion and love. Affection that starts being instilled at station one in the final assembly hall. We are here at the beginning of the assembly line. We have a painted body from paint shop, and here we identify our vehicle with the RFID tech, which helps us through the, all the stations in the further process. The RFID, or Radio Frequency Identification Chip, is a modern-day barcode system that uses radio waves instead of line-of-sight communication to track an item. In the case of the Cayenne, it allows the factory team to know the precise location of each vehicle and its unique specifications. At the beginning of each station, we have a RFID reading station. So all our machines and all our technique knows what kind of can is being built in this station. After a machine is chipped, each new Cayenne receives a very warm welcome. We are hitting the 
bodies for the installation of the ceiling around the panorama roof. The bodies are heated up in preparation for the next station, where a state-of-the-art robot gets its glue on. We are putting the seal on panorama roof. The seal is coming in one piece in 250 meters along the line, and we are cutting it exactly to the roof opening size. The enormous 34 kilogram panoramic roof allows passengers to see nearly everything. However, in the past, it would have been nearly impossible to envision a Porsche being built in Slovakia. Porsche is an iconic, iconic brand, and nobody dreamed about the build a Porsche in Bratislava. The Bratislava factory is founded in the early 70s and has multiple owners until Volkswagen purchases it in the early 90s. The tiny investment quickly pays off. And we started with a very small manual manufacturing of Passat 26 years ago. And it was very exciting to set up here the first real automotive plant. Therefore, it was a very exciting time in 1991. And then, step by step, we add additional products, additional technologies. We add painting, we add welding. And now we are one of the most modern and the most sophisticated plants in VW Group. Volkswagen Bratislava, my guru history. Volkswagen Bratislava has a long history. We have already been producing cars for 26 years, and we gradually started with hand production and upgraded to automation. Thanks to our experience, we have many specialists whose skill we used for the preparation of the new Porsche Cayenne. The simple starting point leads to a massive 2 million square meter site and eventually the chance to build the key machine for one of Volkswagen's most iconic brands, the Porsche Cayenne. It was like family business and now it's really a big sophisticated factory producing six different brands for VW Group. We are proud of that. It's a singular type of pride that mixes the nationality of one country with a symbol of another. I grew up one and a half kilometers from here, so I know the area. I'm proud to be Slovak. And I have to say, I am proud that I can work for Porsche. The factory is also a major component of the Slovakian economy. Volkswagen is one of the most important employers in the Slovakia and most definitely in this region. I personally think it's a question of prestige. It's a fantastic honor. And also for Slovakia, it means we're a very significant producer, a very good employer, and also a significant contributor to the state economy. VW is the biggest private employer in the Slovakia and contributes to GDP 15 to 20 percent. So it's tremendous importance for the Slovak economy. A 15 to 20 percent economic contribution sounds nearly impossible. Yet the automotive industry is responsible for nearly half of the country's industrial goods and helps employ over a quarter of a million people. Perhaps even more impressive, Slovakia is the largest producer of cars per person in the industrialized world. The country is home to just over 5 million citizens, yet in 2017, it produces over a million new vehicles. The design to produce Porsche Cayenne as a final product was a big challenge. It meant expansion of the building itself. We had to build a new bodywork shop, a new assembly hall, new trial run. It cost hundreds of millions in investments and new teams of people. Our family has expanded and we took in many new workers. With so much riding on the success of the machine, VW spends over 800 million euros to build a brand new assembly hall for the third generation vehicle. Once in a lifetime change that we are building a new assembly hall. It's very, very big investment in uh, not only in assembly hall, but the whole manufacturing, because the Porsche Cayenne, third generation, 
It's a completely new car with completely new technologies. It's a lot of pressure, of course, a lot of expectations to fulfill our quality goals and also to produce the demanded volume of the cars. High stakes pressure. Reinforced by a very personal form of honor. It is super to be working on a product which is spread around the whole world and for such a luxury brand. A luxury brand that today is known the world over for building lustworthy high performance machines. Yet not all that long ago, it was a mark on the financial ropes until it found salvation in four doors.